Hey everybody, I'm Recycled, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 VR Modded Survival. So we're here at um, Kingsport Lighthouse, that's right. I <laughs> just gotta turn, I'm like, what's the thing? Oh yeah, the big, that's a lighthouse, that's right. So this is Kingsport Lighthouse, we killed all the children of Adam. And it's supposed to be Mercer's safe house, so we have to build defenses. I don't know if we actually have the materials on hand to do that, but I will try. So these things are really great, but it takes all this stuff, but we just don't have it. These things are easier to build, but because I built my water thingy, then, uh, can't do it. I guess, since we're at this weird out-of-the-way place, and, um, I don't suppose there's anything else we can scrap to get gears. I did not look down here. There is stuff down here. Oh, and there's something radioactive here, too. But, like, you can't see it, and it's like a, uh, barnacle or something. Unless, was it those barrels? Could have been the barrels. No, it's still radioactive. Well, I think it actually is the barrels, but once you scrap them, uh, if you leave for a long time, maybe then it goes away. Gamma gun. I'll take that. The safe. We'll scrap that, and there was something in it, but we can get it from the workbench. I don't know if these gamma guns have any, uh, gears in them. And I think that when you scrap stuff, like, you get all the parts for, from it. Oh, that's not good. That is to say, like, um, that you would get if you scrapped it on a workbench. So, like, even though we don't have a weapon workbench, we can still scrap weapons on the ground and stuff. Like this gamma gun. I mean, I think. Yeah, we're getting stuff for this. It just doesn't tell us because I'm skipping the dialogues. But, oh, it makes life so much easier. I can never go back. Every time I go to a new settlement, I'm always scrapping everything because I want the resources, man. I haven't cleaned this place out entirely. Yeah, and there's two clean beds here by default. I mean, there's a hole in the roof, so that's not great, but... And I, of course, only build the clean-looking beds, too, so... These won't do. Another gamma gun. And we don't need this kitchen. Guess that's everything. Oh, and we did get a gear. Oh, good, they can have one... Oh, Mark 7, nice. One big old strong turret. Hopefully it's enough. And we'll put it up here where people are unlikely to be able to melee it. Oh no, that's only 80% of what we need. Um, there's nothing we can build that on its own will provide defense. Well, I guess we could build a trap or something. Trap door opens and something steps on it. Wasn't there this thing over here? Oh no, but it's out of the... You can't hook that up. There was a trap in the driveway, but uh... It doesn't do anything. Uh, when you scrap a car, you only get steel. Yeah. I mean, um, I can build this. I don't know if it adds any defense. I don't think it does, because it doesn't say that it does. So that's probably not the answer. I guess the real answer is we need to go out and get uh, some more stuff, which is what I didn't want to do. We need to get circuitry, uh, gear, and oil, and, um... And we're up here. Uh, we probably grabbed everything from there. But we haven't been here. I don't think they have a lot of machines there. I mean, really, there's probably stuff on the bench at Crude Manor. We'll just swim over there and see. Oh, and I leveled up, and I've got the final perk in uh, Adamantium Skeleton. So that's awesome. Yeah, here's Crude Manor. It's really uh, fortified. Oh, you know what? Loot Detector's doing that thing it does sometimes where, uh, it picks things up, but it caches them and doesn't give them to me. So I've got to come in here, and this happens, like, every time I change mods or just for any reason at all. Yeah, reboot. Hmm. Didn't give me anything. Is it at least set at the maximum setting? Scan interval 10. So if you modify the file, you can change this and make it, uh, lower. Well, whatever. So, like, they have scrapping stations and people doing scrapping, so... Everyone's working, right? Yeah, they are. So... This'll help. Take a couple of these. Wow, look at all these synth components. What was I doing? Uh, I need oil? I mean, I can synthesize oil. We have some here. And what was the other thing? Uh, circuitry? If we had, like, a telephone or something, or a hot plate, that'd be good. Oh yeah, are these things. Can I build one here if I wanted to? I could. Oh yeah, this place is on the supply line. It's not like I could just build one and carry it over there. That's not how it works. So, 
Like, unless we have the stuff right here, or if I had stuff that I could break down. Nothing in the box. I mean, there is one obvious solution, which is to connect it to the supply line. Yeah, I guess for right now, since we're in a strange situation and a strange place, uh, you, uh, do something. I think this is for a supply line. I need a supply line from here to Kingsport Lighthouse. Yes, assign the supply line. Okay, so he's gonna carry all the stuff, and then we can build whatever we want. Yep, I'm going the right way. Doesn't feel like it, but I am. I don't guess this uh, Mr. Gutsy ever respawned. No. Power armor definitely doesn't respawn. Yeah, I think with power armor, I don't know, maybe it does respawn after a long enough time. Not really sure about that. Doesn't seem like it though. It seems like there's a limited number of them you can actually get. And then um, after that, you can buy power armor frames from Cleo. And you can steal all the... I can't get any gears from this stuff. You can steal the power armor from the Brotherhood guys. Yeah, and if you're good at stealing, you can steal all their power armor. It's like, um, just get behind them and be hidden. And then steal the fusion core, which causes them to step out of it. And then they can't feel it when you take all the other pieces of it. Oh! Uh, enemy! Die, please. <laughs> I just had this in my hand. Not a weapon I would normally use for close quarters combat. What weapon would I use for close quarters combat? <laughs> Still the MP5, probably. I re-ran the laser patcher. If anything, could have had a laser, but didn't have the option before, and now it will. There's a crumbled building. Here's the Kowskis. I've certainly been in there. Here's a couple of cars. As long as I don't crush myself. Uh, one for the left hand. And, uh... <sighs> Now I can only move like this. One. Oh, I changed hands. That's neat. Yep, one for each hand. And uh, LFG, <laughs> I guess. So find a way up, up here. There is a way you could just walk in without jumping over rocks, I'm sure. Whichever way the supply line would go. I think my computer glitched out because it was thinking. Can we go this way, please? Yeah, kind of overloading the, uh, the whole system by doing this. The physics are going so crazy. Hey, look, a landmine. And another one out there. I wonder if I could scrap those. Okay, we're close enough. I can drop these now. Oh, are they both, uh... They're clashing into each other. Well, I have to drop one. Okay, that hurt a lot. And then I'm gonna drop the other one. Alright, and we survived. So that's good. Uh, just barely, actually. Just for a little bit of steel. Oh, so you can pick up the landmines and then scrap them. Um... Scrapping landmines? I don't think I've ever done that. Did I not finish looting these robots? Loot them, please. This one was getting really hot. Oh, it's just a holotape. Yeah. I mean, we'll do it. I mean, yeah, I have that thing. <laughs> I was standing right next to Ada. I didn't give it to her. Some, uh, helpful, uh, person I am. Jeez. Like, I really want an explosive minigun to do that. And I don't have one. Okay, so like now we can build anything. In fact, we should drip. Wait, what is this doing here? I need all the resources, dude. Drop our junk onto the bench. Hey, look, a weapons workbench. But the game sometimes crashes when you do this. But it didn't crash. Hey, I want those effect chips though. They're not very heavy, right? No, they don't weigh anything. So I don't ever want to drop them. Oh, but they are junk, so they would transfer in the supply line. So if you had a supply line, you could use all your effect chips wherever you go. Pretty OP. Oh, but man, farming for legendaries is such a pain. And if you don't farm, you'll go crazy by getting crappy drops over and over. That's not anything I could do right now, right? Oh yeah, I don't need this thing. This is pretty cool. Um, but I already have like a better thing. Yeah, we'll recall that provisioner eventually. So let's finish the defenses here. Oh, and I'm sure my character's thirsty. I don't like have any water on the bench, do we? I think resources collect. Yeah, they collect even if you're not, or nobody lives there to actually collect them. They just collect on the bench. So without uncapped settlement surplus, uh, there's a really low cap on what you can collect. With uncapped settlement surplus, it just keeps growing and growing, no limits. But otherwise, it's like, it'll go to the cap, and then you come by and pick it up. Yeah, and the reason why it's so stupid is because, like, you can just put a box next to your workbench, 
and then every so often come by and move all the junk, water, and food into the box, and more of it will magically appear in the workbench. It's really stupid. Like, insultingly stupid. Um, but we have to build this thing. Yeah, so Mark 7s are the best. They shoot explosive bullets. And here's this guy. So, you can take Radiant Quest from him, but, um, like, yeah, it's like, uh, you go and collect someone, there's always some enemies to kill, you can get some XP and whatever, and, uh, yeah, just do it whenever you want, as long as you're friends with the, uh, railroad. So, like, uh, man, the sky looks terrible. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if it looks that bad because I installed that mod. Um, it's called, uh, well, they say don't use the VR optimization patch anymore because, like, it's outdated and one of the updates to the game broke it, so that's why all the things were disappearing and stuff, so I did want to fix that. Oh, but this looks terrible. My goodness. Um, maybe I need another mod to fix it. Oh, but anyway, we did what we were asked to. I'm peckish. Well, we have all kinds of food. Report back to Pam. Well, if we're heading back to town, we could do that. And that's about it. So let's follow the pips. Um, these two are like really far apart. Oh, it's up that way. Well, we are in the area. Yeah, I guess let's do it. So like, now that I move so fast, uh, if I could just get my uh, endurance up and my agility, I'll be able to run forever, basically. What? It's legendary. What the? <laughs> so I saw this other mod. Uh, it actually makes bullets into like a real thing, but I was kind of scared of it because then I realized sniping would be harder. An armored skirt. It's really heavy and it sets people on fire. I would never wear it. Oh yeah, so like, yeah, they said, don't use the VR optimization project because it's broken. Uh, but instead, you can use this other texture modification thing. Hey look, it's one of these. And it's called, there's some circuitry, copper, lots of circuitry. Yeah, so these spawn in just random places and uh, this thing doesn't look like it's connected to this, but it is. Um, and uh, you tell the iBot to find something and it will actually go to the nearest instance of that thing and find it. But it could be like really far away. Who's this person? I'm taking your stuff. Oh, it's Trader Riley. Wanna trade? <clears throat> hey, sorry about giving you the brush off in there. Phew just gets on my last nerve, you know what I mean? Nice suit, looks just like mine. I know exactly what you mean. What was that in there about people getting sick? Theo got that old cannery up and running about a year or so back and convinced me and some of the other traders to start bringing his cans around. It was all good and well for a while, but in the past couple months I've had people complain about getting sick after eating it. Don't get me wrong, not like people dying or anything, just, I don't know, the sales have slumped off and Theo's gotten more uppity. Anyway, enough about Theo. Care to see what I've got for sale? That's what I want. Sure. Let me show you what I've got. She's got all kinds of junk. Yeah, and I guess we have plenty of it. Um, there's something we're missing to build our famous bubble turrets. And I don't know what it is. It's like, as far as I can look on the list, uh, we have enough of everything. But there's something that I can't see way down at the bottom of the list that uh, we don't have enough of. And uh, I guess my uh, famous... 36 man scrapping stations are like the only way we're going to get that stuff because it randomly generates all kinds of scrap. But if I was just here right now, I mean, she doesn't sell anything really special. We can make like all the uh, adhesive in the world. Well, when we have enough greenhouses. So I did the math. Like, uh, if you had seven greenhouses, you'd be able to feed every single settlement in the Commonwealth and all the DLCs. <laughs> With 36 people at each one, because more of the settlements are actually designated as farms, you know, I build, like, more greenhouses. So all that extra food becomes available um, for making adhesive. Yeah. I really don't need anything, but I'll sell you stuff. I'm sure I've got some of these decals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll take all your money. You can have these useless decals. <laughs> See ya. Whoa. Oh yeah, this place. 
It's like really radioactive. Well, we should at least take some Radex. And rat away. These bombs aren't really gonna go off, right? I'm too sneaky. Yeah, there's a dead guy in here. Hugo. Hey, cool, a Mr. Handy model. I'll take that. The guys don't bother me anymore. That's good. I think it's... What was that? Can't they read the signs? I think it's time I go back inside the quarry. It's been too long. No, I can't. The guys would never let me in. I could kill them all. No, no, that would, that wouldn't be what it would want. It's time to lay down. Yes, of course. It's next to my bed. I will. It's loaded. A gun? Well, I got pretty radiated to hear that. Um, run! Okay, well that wasn't too bad. So there's like a quarry here or something, so like, uh, probably full of bad guys, and like, uh, we should totally go in there. Yeah, bad guys. Let's kill them all. Starting with his turret. There's one in the house. Dunnage pours. Oh yeah, we've been here before. <clears throat> all these jerks respawn. Show your face! <clears throat> Come on! <clears throat> I dare you! Exploding bullets. Ow, that hurt. Ow. <laughs> you know what? You guys are real jerks. Oh! Come on, Shot out of my hand. I get bonus explosive damage. Yeah. That hurt a lot. But it's like, uh... More stuff. And so, like, eventually, when I have enough settlements and enough people scrapping all the time, and the supply lines are all connected, <clears throat> we'll have so much junk getting generated continuously that it becomes, like, pointless to even grab junk while I'm out. But, you know, like, uh, until then, hey, the bones respawn. Love them bones. We can make acid with them. Or is it oil? No, no, you can bind them with acid to make oil. Play them bones. <laughs> Yeah, everyone should play Accounting Plus if you have VR. I don't think you can play it at flat. Uh, I want that, uh, but I want it. Please, I'm gonna put my hand... Yes, please. <laughs> put my hand into the uh, ceiling fan. Wow, Radox lasts for a long time. I guess it's because I have the chemist perk. Um, either there's a dead person here with uh, one of those helmets on, or there's a living person, but they're not moving. Uh, I think it's a dead person up there. Yeah, so my health regenerates because I have Life Giver 3. And uh, once I have Ghoulish 4, then my health will regenerate and my radiation will dissipate automatically. I'll be basically invincible unless something can get through my awesome health regeneration. Yeah, like one of those unkillable liches from D&D &D that its health just magically regenerates because it's supposed to be really hard. And it is. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> A living lich. That's me. Yeah, we can have a doodle cup. But I'm still hungry. Man, these noodle cups suck. I mean, they're kind of heavy. All right. 
Well, enough screwing around. Yep, gotta go to the asylum. Yeah, we've been up this far north before, obviously. It just doesn't feel like it. Well, hello there. Go away. <laughs> yeah, and if you can ever get your endurance up high enough, like with gear or whatever, um, you have infinite AP, as I've learned. So yeah, I could have come here earlier and killed these guys. Wait, did I kill these guys? They're showing red. Um, are you gonna attack me? I'm just gonna walk up here, since I can save my game. You know I'm here, right? You're not gonna turn around and shoot me? Uh, they just con red. Actually, it's not like a difficulty meter. There's Maria. Yeah, con comes from RPGs when you would forward slash consider. Well, came from EverQuest for me. Uh, that's a long story. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new girl. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. So yeah, you can kill these guys to get combat armor at an early level. Oh, but we already found combat armor. Did you make a plane? And then we found synth armor. We don't even care about our combat armor. Well, the combat armor will always look better. Gotta go up there. One of them is visible through the window. Not a good idea. What? They survived the headshot. Well, they're gonna be pissed about that. Oh, I don't think I was sneaking. Whoops. Well, that's fine. Just, uh, yeah. Come out here. Or the game can crash. Whoops. It, you're using a scope. So the game has to crash. Of course. All right. Take two. Got one of them. Are they really going to come out this door? I mean, that's fine. Much easier to shoot. <laughs> you know, I think that might have been all of them. Let's head on over. Anyone else? What the? Whoa! Um, kill everything. Shitty McBoom Boom. Shitty McBoom Boom! Ugh. Gunners. Randomly. Yeah, it's an effective long-range weapon as well. <laughs> what else is going on? This guy's, uh... <laughs> I thought maybe the, uh... That's my XP. Die already. I thought maybe the, uh... Mercenaries from the uh, asylum came over, but no. Gunners versus Rust Devils. Another good source of combat armor. Ah, uh, but we didn't solve the mystery here. There's a safe that I can't open. That's okay. There's never anything mission critical in those. Yeah, we did kill everyone. Oh, uh, so the thing we were sent here to pick up was an aid item. Yeah, so now I got it. And you can't see it because the pet boy's in the way. But yeah, the mysterious serum. We'll take it. And we got a level up. Well, I already got Adamantium Skeleton, so that's awesome. From the Endurance Tree, yeah, from the Agility Tree, it'd be really good to get Ninja, so we could do even more sneak attack damage. But actually, moving target's really good, because then you can get sprinting costs fewer percent less action points. Oh yeah, or if you get Demolitions Expert. Yeah, that's really good. We should probably get this. Yeah, the crazy thing about Demolitions Expert, anything that you touch, explodes for more damage. So like, if an enemy throws a Molotov and you happen to shoot it with your gun in midair, it'll explode for double damage, etc. Not just the stuff that you throw. Yeah, so we gotta report back to town. I guess I'll take the land route this time to see what it's like. Well, unless the sea is in the way or something. Don't go swimming. Land Woods. Oh yeah, this is the place with the, uh, the surprise. And a magazine. The Wasteland Survival Guide. Excellent. Unlock new decoration items and workshop settlements, like, uh, flamencos, I guess. Is it flamenco or flamingo? 
I don't know. These guys are really tough. Shit! Shit indeed. Where'd she go? There she goes. You're really tough. These Raider veterans are no joke. How do they even notice me? Yeah, you go up here. Huh? And then a bunch of assholes are down there. And then you press this switch. And then everyone's pissed, especially the death claws. My XP, you asshole. That's so really. Legendary. Gotta reload. Go, please. Is it reloading or what? Hey, that's my life. <laughs> XP. Get back here. We still see you. No, it's hiding behind the rock. No, I don't want to open the menu. What you do? Turn it off. And then his caution wears out. I mean, it's not magic. They just go somewhere far away. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so I didn't get XP for one of them, which sucks. But I did for the other one. So, let's collect the spoils. Whee! Doesn't hurt me. And we got the key to some chest. I wonder if it's this chest that we couldn't open. Well, duh. Now I want the key to the safe, man. Wherever it is. Let's get that legendary. A nimble MP5K. 75% faster movement while aiming. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we don't have an MP5K yet. Pretty cool gun. Don't know if I'll use it since it's basically identical to an MP5, except kind of less accurate. Oh, but it's uh, while aiming. So like, I don't think it stacks with sprinting, but I run so fast already. Does that mean if I... Wield this? Oh, it does stack. Holy crap, we can run so fast. I should put this on one of my guns. This is like fast travel. Crazy. Um, save the game, because something really good happens. Yeah, let's keep going. Hit that sound button, always happens. And by always, I mean almost never. Um, bad guys. Let's use Shooting McBoom Boom. Which does more damage now. Um, you're really tough. <laughs> Because we took a rank. That's enhanced. Useless. I'll take your meat, though. <laughs> yeah, the shotgun actually has such tight groups, it's good for range shooting. I guess because of that uh, accuracy enhanced for VR mod. Or whatever it was. So I think the slog is over here. Or no, we should get back to... Uh, well, we're not going back to Parsons. Uh, oh yeah, Breakheart Banks. Sometimes you get sent here on quests. Yeah, they'll be like, these super beans are gonna kill us. <laughs> you have to go to break heart banks. You can't hide forever. Oh, that must have hurt a lot. <laughs> I can smell you out. 
There's more of them. Oh, a dog. Yep, we cleared it out. No problem. Yeah, usually the slog sends me here, but I guess anyone could. It was really convenient because it's so close by. I mean, did we do what the slog asked us to? I think we already did. But it's not on a supply line, so we couldn't build defenses. Quantum. Oh yeah, so Nimble. Hmm. Nimble makes you run faster, so... The only problem is, I'm using every single slot on my wheel. Like, uh, if there was some mod that could give you a second wheel, or a bigger wheel... I mean, right now, I can put this down here, but as soon as I have my minigun... It's not gonna work. It's kinda glitchy. Yeah, there's like a speed limit. It's like, uh, you go fast... You speed up for a second... And then you slow down again. Bunch of dogs. Big bunch of dogs. All the radio distress signal. No, I don't think I will. Super meaties. What? Oh no, just regular dogs. <laughs> I thought those are mutant hounds. Nice paint job on this car. You can carry it to where we're going, but it's a long way to go. Yeah, so it's like I'm running, and then I sprint, and now I have a faster run speed, and then I sprint again, and I should go even faster, but I don't. We did their quest, but I saw all this junk. Why hasn't anyone come here to scrap stuff? Yeah, they're usually one of the first places to get supply lines. Because of, uh, they're right next to the Mechanist Slayer. Oh yeah, I love to see the power armor here. <laughs> and then just left. Yeah, and I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, it seems like there's a, uh, <laughs> some kind of speed limit. I can't seem to spread as much as I want to. Yeah, so I guess I don't need to worry about Nimble. But that's good, because I didn't want to. There's not enough space in my weapon wheel. Yeah, I guess we can talk. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. Driver's license. S9132868264. Lawyer. Ahoy there, citizen. You are hereby conscripted into the Congressional Army. So now I'm in the Army. All right. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated, madam. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. Cut the double quick, madam. Yeah, so like, um, we'll do that later. <laughs> Screw that guy. And there's these guys, but we don't care about them. So we made it back with the Mysterious Serum. Oh, but when we turn this in, we're gonna have to follow this guy all the way up to Parsons. And then we're gonna have to clear out Parsons. That's gonna take forever. So let's not do that. Yeah, I wanna get this ballistic weed before we do anything. Especially before going to Nuka World. That place is brutal. No, but I don't want to go in through the front door. It's like, uh, next to his white boat. One of these buildings. Hmm, I don't remember. Have to do better than that. Yeah, I'm not gonna do just come in through the regular door. How silly would that be? Ah, oh, but you gotta find the uh, secret entrance. And it's not on the map. Oh yeah, it's near pizza parlor. Uh, somewhere around here. I really don't remember. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Well, what? <laughs> hey you, Randolph's safe house has been MIA since Switchboard. 
but now we got one of their dead drops tagged. Des wants you to check it out. I hope this means Randolph is safe after all. It'd be nice to get some good news for a change. Once you take care of the dead drop, report him to Des. The Randolph quest line never ends. It's actually a radiant quest because it picks random locations for you to scout the out. a dangerous place for anyone in Um, mind. we might do it. We might not. Human machine interface to 100%. Good day, agent. My data indicates Mercer Safe House has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cache from any hostels in its vicinity. Pre-war cache, huh? This'll be interesting. Unable to process verbal response. The cache is hidden in compliance with tactical counter-surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. Nice. That sounds pretty high-tech. Correct. The cache belonged to the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA's technological capabilities we're more advanced than many branches of the government. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human-machine interface. Yeah, so... Either this cache or the one after. Not really sure. Um... I think you have to do three of these missions, and then you get access to Ballistic Weave. And, uh, you'll know, because Drummer Boy will tell you that Tinker Tom's got something special. So, undoubtedly, we'll continue with this quest line and go and get our Ballistic Weave as soon as possible. On the next episode. So, if you've been watching, thanks. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye